We're finishing up Rise Up for Peace, a beautiful day of coming together on behalf of inner peace as well as peace for all of mankind. I'm Dr. Ruth Anderson. I'm here with Terry Angel and Dr. Marsha Martin. Before we get started with Marsha's event today, which is called Letting Go to Become One, cannot wait for that, Marsha. Um, let's chat with Terry Angel for just a moment about everything else that's happened today. Terry, thank you for co-hosting today with me. I so appreciate it. It was an honor, Ruth. I'm so happy to be here at Enlightened World Network. We did have a full day, a day dedicated to peace. And how can we bring in more peace in the world? And and I heard over and over in, in the different offerings today of people calling on peace. And the main thing I heard was that it has to be on the inside first. He starts on the inside. We started the day off with the morning cup of joy that I host every morning on Enlightened World Network. And it was a, a real joy to be on this morning and to just share with everybody to stay with us throughout the day. Because right after that, Mira Rubin was on with our Dr. Ruth Anderson. And she talked about propagating peace with the core connection, transforming the energy of fear to wholeness. And that was awesome with the meditation. At 10 o'clock, we had Caroline Palmy, uh, finding inner peace. And of course, like I said, that's where it has to begin. So that was another beautiful time to connect with our in inner peace and calm. And after that, we had Eileen Murray giving an offering of invoking the power of the soul and talking about the dual, dualistic identity and how we can find the peace in be, beyond human understanding. And it really is beyond our understanding. But once we find it, we understand it more inside of us. At 11 o'clock, Ruth and I came on together and and invited in the divine beings, the angels and the masters and all of divinity to hold space for the rest of the day as our presenters came forth. Michelle Landers had a wonderful meditation with the violet flame, which is powerful. And I was able to listen to some of hers before I had to go back on. And she is an amazing soul and a beautiful meditator. After that, we had Lisa Jo Davis that I was with, and Lisa had an offering of the pillar of peace and learning how to invoke that pillar of peace to help humanity during the stressful times. And Lisa had a beautiful offering. We had a sound meditation by Rebecca Abraxas. I was able to tune into that and let us know light. May we stay bright, a sound meditation for peace. A beautiful offering. Rebecca has an amazing voice that um, I, I was listening to it. And at one point I had my eyes closed and I thought she was playing an instrument, but it was her tuning oh, wow. with her voice. It was just beautiful. Then we had Sue Broom come in with Rise Up for Peace. And Sue always brings such an angelic presence with her. It was just a beautiful, beautiful time together with Sue. Sally De La Rosa came in with a meditation, peaceful, soulful, beautiful. And that was another amazing meditation that led us inside to our, our power inside of us and finding the peace. Every day we offer a world peace meditation, 10 million for world peace. And today we took part in this day long offering on peace. So Marbeth Dunn led us in a wonderful peace meditation, focusing on the leaders of our world and influencing the energy to become more peaceful and to think in a positive way. Sharon Karn, oh my gosh, how I love Sharon. She came in with a sound offering, peace begins in the heart and so beautiful. After that, we had Kira Lani, who I was on with, and Kira did some breath work with us and led us through activations with the breath. This was one of the most powerful ones that I was able to join in on throughout the day and working with the breath. That's how we connect 
And that's how we connect to who we truly are and find that peace. So you might want to revisit that one. If, if Whether you saw it or not, go do it again because it was powerful. Uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, we invoked the angels and the elementals for world peace. Carol Ann Cross, Dr. Ruth Anderson, and myself came together to bring that to everyone as an offering. Then we went into um, Julia Grief, who did ET ground into the lightness of your being to assist world peace with a guided meditation to experience your highest truth as peace with the beings of absolute light. And if you haven't heard Julia um, talk about them and introduce them, I encourage you to find out what that's all about. Stephen Altar and Kevin Schoeninger offered a wonderful meditation of raising our vibration, Om Shanti, into all-embracing peace. Mm, lovely. Shami Devon, another beautiful offering, Jin Shin Jutsu, and I probably butchered that. <laughs> but Shami did an offering for us, as well as Lorraine Butterfield. She followed up with a meditation with light language for world peace, harmony, and healing. The doctors, Jane and Philip Mountrose, we're on with uh, Dr. Ruth Anderson talking about the loving presence of peace. And then we had our nightly uh, Course in Miracles study and chanting for change. And that's a, a group of us that come together. We've been doing it for over 1,240 days in a row of chanting to make a difference in our world. We just finished that one. And here we are with Marsha Martin becoming one. So it was a beautiful day. And I encourage you, if you missed any of it, to go watch the replays. And you can easily do that at Enlightened World Network, either on Facebook or on YouTube. So please just check that out. Anytime you see this particular background on it, then you will know that that is part of the Rise Up for Peace series that we did today. It was an absolutely beautiful day. It was a transformative day. And I don't know about you, Terry, but I felt the presence of the earth angels so strongly mm -hmm. today. And as each session went on and built on top of the other ones, it just carried it that much further, that many more angels being involved. Mm -hmm. It was actually profound. Yes, it was. Yeah, I'm, I'm still floating up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marbeth, when she did the World Peace Meditation, she had us flying like angels. And, and that's how it felt throughout the oh. whole day. We were just flying like angels and floating through this day. Yeah. Well, we're so pleased to have Dr. Marsha Martin to close out the day. You know, it's so interesting when we do an event like this because we hear who is to be asked and then oh. we so just trust that where they are in the lineup is exactly where they're supposed to be in the lineup. And I've got goosebumps saying that, Marsha, you are to be last. There's a reason for that. <laughs> and can't wait for this culminating activity right here. Well, I am so honored to be here. And as I mentioned to you, all of you, I was meditating before just so I could really step into the space they want me to hold. And they have a beautiful offering for all of us tonight. Just a wonderful way to let go of any separation and all anxiety. Perfect. Well, Terry and I will get out of your way and let you just take over. Thank okay. you. Okay. Ah, let's just take a deep cleansing, clearing, and healing breath. And as we do, let's close our eyes and continue to breathe deeply and completely. Know that you are safe. Know that you are loved. And with that knowledge, allow your entire being to relax and to help you anchor in even more deeply. 
I invite you to place your attention on the energetic heart center. It's located right in the middle of your chest. Put all of your attention on your heart center. This is your connection to the divine. And now let's anchor you fully into this moment by moving the energy first down through the pranic tube, blessing all of the chakras, blessing all of the body, moving the energy down through the pranic tube will bless the earth and everyone on it and in it. And we will continue to move the energy down until you have reached the heart of the earth. Now allow this energy from the divine, this energy of unconditional love and acceptance, gifted into the heart of the mother, gifted into the earth. Release this love and acceptance into the earth and receive from her the energy of renewal and restoration and allow that energy to move back up through the pranic tube, blessing all of your being and coming for a moment to rest in the energetic heart center. Breathing deeply and completely. Now begin moving this energy, the combined stream, up through the pranic tube and allow it to move out through the higher self point and go deep into the heart of the divine. Connecting fully. Allow your gratitude and appreciation for all that the divine are, all of the ways in which they support, guide, love, and inspire you. Allow that to be given to the heart of the divine. And watch as they magnify, magnetize, and make this energy into one that is now complete, one that is perfect in every way, containing the elements of everything you may ever desire. And this energy is sent out into all universes, known and unknown, and down upon the earth, and everything in it and on it. But the most sacred portion of this energy comes back down through your pranic tube, joining the other energy in your heart center. It is allowed now to flow throughout your being, blessing every part of you. Bringing your attention back to the energetic heart center. Allow yourself to create a circle of white light. This is a sacred circle, a place where you can be as you are without fear or any kind of worry. So call yourself as you are into the circle now. Breathing deeply, allow yourself to become present within the sacred circle. And you will notice that Archangel Shamuel, whose name means God is love, is with you in the circle. Also in the circle with you is the energy of unconditional love, represented by the Christ consciousness that I refer to as Jesus. You may call him whatever name you desire, understanding that this is the energy of unconditional love and acceptance, and there is no pure, finer energy 
anywhere. And now, beginning as you are where you are, it is time to let go. We're letting go first of the physical layer, the outer shell that may have made you believe that you are separate, disconnected, or somehow not belonging to the whole. So just imagine that you are a jigsaw puzzle and watch as Jesus and Archangel Samuel gently release from you these pieces. You will remain intact in your beingness, but you're releasing the physical shell. You're letting it go so that you can become even more. You are taking away the limitation, the excuses, the reasons why not. Archangel Samuel and Jesus lift them away from you. Archangel Michael now appears and he transports them directly to the heart of the divine. He takes all of the pieces of you that no longer serve you and gives them to the divine heart where they will be transformed. And when that energy returns to you, it will be the energy of your highest good, your highest self, your most powerful version of you. But just let go of that outer shell right now. We don't want it in this moment. Let it go. Release it. Be free. Take a breath. And Archangel Samuel guides you deeper. He guides you into the emotional, mental body. And now he holds before him a basket. And he invites you to let go of all negative thoughts, to let go of all low, vi low vibrational energies, all those feelings and all those times when you thought you could have done better, but you didn't. All of the times when you are sure that you failed, that you were not enough, that you judged yourself harshly, let go by just releasing that and allowing it to fall into the basket. So you are no longer filled with any negativity or any false illusions or any feelings that are not serving your highest good. Strip yourself bare of everything that is deceitful, or less than, into the basket. And now, Archangel Shamuel hands the basket to Archangel Michael, and you watch, feeling free, light, oh, so much less burdened, as you watch all of that pain be delivered, deep into the heart of the divine, where it too will be transformed. And now Archangel Samuel invites you to go deeper still, down into the spiritual body. And this time, he brings forth a beautiful glass container so that you can see that you may be holding on 
to thoughts about the divine, to thoughts about others, to thoughts about the world that are separating you from the unity that you desire. So into this crystal container, you place all of the ways in which you are misunderstanding who you are and what your role in the world may be. It doesn't matter whether it's religious, societal, cultural, familial, whatever is causing prejudices within your spiritual body, you are invited to release now. Just pour them into this beautiful crystal vase. Allow yourself to become free, releasing all burdens, all thoughts about how you should be, how the world must be, what makes you right, what makes you acceptable. Release all of that. Just let it pour forth into the crystal goblet. Breathing deeply, release. And now, Archangel Shamuel hands the crystal vessel, vessel to Archangel Michael that it may be transported to the heart of the divan and be transformed into that which is for your highest good. Whatever understanding you may need, whatever intellectual, emotional, spiritual, or physical support you may need will be delivered to you as this energy is transformed. Archangel Shamuel takes you even deeper, letting you now venture out into the auric field. And this time he holds a violet bag that represents the violet flame and he says to you now take all of the times in which you created invisible boundaries out of fear out of past pain trauma abuse prejudice misunderstanding miscommunication all of the ways in which you walled yourself off believing that that was going to keep you safe. Let go of these unnecessary walls. Place them all within the violet bag. Only connecting to the divine can keep you safe. It is all that truly is and all that you ever need to interact with in order to receive the highest and the greatest and the mightiest of everything that you desire. So release those walls, those inhibitions, those ways in which you were hiding, hiding who you are and all that you are, believing that would keep you safe. And now Archangel Shamuel invites you to go even deeper, to understand that all that is left of you now is a being of infinite love, a beautiful beacon of light that represents hope. Hope for yourself. Hope for your family, your neighborhoods, your cities, your countries, your world. 
Be in this infinitesimal place. Be in this small speck of beingness and recognize that within this tiny particle, everything of value exists. All of the outer has been removed. Only the deepest inner part of you remains. But this part, this pure God connection, is everything and so much more. Connect fully with this part of you. Connect deeply with the heart center. Hold fast to the divine. And be at peace with yourself, with others, with your community and with the world. For now you understand that when you are only your divineness, you are everything and nothing. You are without barriers, but you are also completely safe completely one, love reigns here, love is supreme, love is all you know and all you receive, be in this space of nothing and everything and allow your heart to expand. Expand with love for yourself, for your community, and for the world. Breathe deeply and completely, becoming even more united with this love for love is all that exists in the smallest molecule there is only love become one with that love become your purest divine self Be in this space. Knowing you are love. And allow yourself to fill with joy. Add joy to the being that is you. Love already reigns supreme. Now add joy. And layer that over with peace, as though you are being enfolded in the arms of the divine. And little by little, we will begin making our way back, back into the auric field that's now layered with love, joy, and peace back into the spiritual body that is overflowing with a divine connection, back into the emotional, mental body where you are able to think thoughts of love and know that everything is right in your world, that your feelings are uplifted, inspired, motivated, welcoming, encompassing all, connected to the divine. And now, 
perfect pieces of the physical become attached to you again. Whatever darkness you were experiencing, whether it be illness or discomfort in any area of your body, you are being remade, rebuilt, renewed in the image of the divine, perfect in every way and in every cell, for love permeates your body. Love has become your essence. And flowing up from the love is joy, encompassing it all is peace. As all of you knits back together and unites under the banner of love, you recognize all are one, one being through the divine heart, one energy connected by divine love, one unit sharing joy and aspiring to peace for all. Rest here in the newness of your being, breathing deeply and completely Be renewed, be restored, become one with all. And when you are ready, return to this moment, overflowing with love, joy, and peace. Marcia, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. They always, they always lead us on such a wonderful journey of understanding. Mm, I do love our divine helpers. Yeah, there, there was one of the uh, things that you said that I, I typed into the comments for everyone. Be at peace with yourself with others, with your community, and with the world. And you know, when we just let go of everything we think and really connect with the divine, there's no reason to be afraid or to need to be better than someone. It's just so easy to be in your space and allow others to be in to occupy their space however they choose to and know that there is more than enough for all. Absolutely. You know, Marsha, I really appreciated the way that you structured your meditation because it, it really sent that message home that that lack of peace is caused by separation whether it's separation from ourselves, from each other, or from the divinity, that's the main root of all of it, isn't it? You know, when I was preparing for this and Archangel Shemuel led me through that exercise, I just thought, gosh, I've never looked at it that way. I never thought to go down to the molecular level and connect with the divine there. And it really gave me a whole new appreciation for 
how to teach this kind of connection, how to get rid of all of the noise that is so often represented by any of our physical senses that get in the way. And I thought it was interesting that, that they even took it out into the auric field and the ways in which we try to keep ourselves safe. And they just wanted to, no, let the divine do the work. You stop putting in your artificial conditions or um, qualifications. Just be one at the most infinitesimal level and understand that that is all you need in order to be absolutely everything. Yes, I, I wrote that down too. When you're in your divine presence, you are everything and you and are nothing. That would I yeah, they they taught me a lot tonight. I always think, oh gosh, I've learned so much. Is there more to you know what more could I need to know? And then they come up with always they come, they come up <laughs> with so much more depth. Yeah. I think that's what this journey has been uh, most has meant most to me is the amount of depth and re recognizing there is always more another level of the divine to meet and to become one with and yet at everywhere along the way I felt so loved and supported and so perfect. So they're always reteaching me that lesson that no matter where we are, we are perfect for where we are. It's just continue. Don't stop. <laughs> continue because there's always another more beautiful layer to discover. And love is all there is. Love is all there is. And, you know, I spent so much of my life believing that love was a weak emotion and that I was foolish for believing in love. And I am so grateful to be freed of that misconception. Me too. <laughs> not, it's not romantic love. It is divine love, the most powerful force ever, ever created, or I don't know if it was ever created, but the most powerful force we can align with. Yeah, the perfect, perfect closer for us, for sure, Marcia. Marcia, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to share one of the comments from hmm. someone in the audience. And she said, so grateful. I have never seen my higher inner self before. I will never lose that oh, image man. again. Isn't it wonderful the way they always lead us to the place that we need to be for our greatest good? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that brings up, I used to remember struggling to surrender and having all of these conversations with the beautiful, infinitely patient <laughs> divine saying, now, I don't know if I want to give up being me. <laughs> They're like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> as I came to trust them more, I recognize you don't give you up. You allow you to become more. You become the greatest version of you. And you release those petty kind of annoying little characteristics that you thought were so meaningful and step in to your fullness and truly your greatness. Thank you. Your divine grace. It is so lovely to be in that space and away from the I'm not good enough space, or if I was something else, then I could be more lovable. You are what you are because that's perfect for you. And it is not perfect for anyone else, but you are not them. You are you. So allow you 
your most beautiful self to shine forth and know that it is absolutely divinely perfect. Thank you. Marsha, what would you like folks to know about you and what you are putting out into the world? Well, I invite them to join us. We've just transitioned. Everything is now under a new umbrella. We are the Heart Healing Foundation. So now people can receive the help they need for whatever they can afford. Of course, you can still work with me privately, but this would be group counseling where you can receive whatever you need and you pay what you can, even if it's zero, because we believe you are so much more than your bank balance. And how, how do they find you? How do they connect with you at the Heart Healing Foundation? We go to the, the website is the hearthealingfoundation.org, or you can still go to mmhearthealer.com. That has a link to the foundation. We are in the this transition phase, so we're still a little lots of pieces, but we it is just so delightful to be able to welcome everyone and get people the help they need without having to say, and now that will cost you much more than you have because you're moving from an abusive or traumatic situation. And this really came about because I realized as I was leaving the abuse and the trauma, the thing that I didn't have was any money <laughs> that had all been used to try to stay alive or to patch up all the holes that I had that were leaking in every direction. And I just sat down with myself one day and said, when I needed me most, when I needed this support, and now we have others are coming on board to offer different ways to help as well. But when I needed this kind of support, there was no way I could have afforded it. And so I didn't want money to be a barrier to people getting the help that they desired. Perfect. So friends, please check out the hearthealingfoundation.org and Dr. Marsha Martin. So Terry, Marsha. Also, one more thing, if you are doing well, we have a fundraising campaign going on. We are a 501c3 organization, so it is tax deductible. And Every donation that you make to the foundation goes to supporting somebody in their journey of recovery from abuse and trauma. Excellent. Thank you. Terry, anything else to wrap up for today? Oh, it has been an amazing day. I'm I'm a little physically tired from the day, but my okay. soul soaring because it is so full. And I know I'm going to rest well with the angels tonight. Absolutely. Stay in that high vibration. I encourage if you've missed any of these shows today, just go in, just pick one that sounds good to you. Just pick one and, and see what, uh, what's there. Because there's a lot of good stuff. And Marcia, this was the perfect one to end with. So beautiful. I'm, I'm just our angel helpers uh, the whole energetic realm is if you do not regularly call on the energetic realm please know no one is ever turned away every prayer is heard every prayer is answered just open your heart to receive they love you and they see your greatness so please reach out to them beautiful Thank you. So friends here at Enlightened World Network, thank you. Thank you for being part of our day. Thank you for being part of our world, because it's those of you that are willing to step out and step into your own spiritual growth that is making such a difference for the rest of us in the world. So, so much love to each and every one of you. Take good care. God bless, and we'll see you all soon. Bye, Bye. everyone.